Hi there, so Miss Kay here with my trumpet. So we are going to look at uh, page eight of Team Brass today. Last week we looked at page nine. So if you haven't practiced page nine yet, you need to go back to last week's video, number one. This uh, Last week we looked at the long notes at the top and we practiced um, flowing. So this week looking at page eight and this brings in the note G. Now you already know we did it in class, you know that G uses no fingers. What's the other note that uses no fingers? That is C, of course. So once we've practiced page eight, we will know how to play and how to read notes C, D, E, and F, and G. So let's uh, start off by just playing those notes just to get everything working again. So let's play them all in order. Just lie, some long notes, listen to your sound, make sure you're making a nice sound. Try and join in with me, try and match my sound. Let's see if you can play a long note the same as me. Make sure you're standing up straight, like I said last week. Make sure your music's up straight somewhere. If you don't have a music stand, make sure it's propped up somewhere on a table or somewhere. Or if you're sitting down, make sure you're not twisting to look at it on the bed or on the sofa. Try and make sure uh, that you're up straight, whether you're standing or sitting, and that your music's up in front of you. And that when you play, your trumpet is up in front of you as well. Okay, so let's play some long notes. We're going to start from, well, we're going to do each one. You know how to do these in order. So nice big breath, and let's play C all together. Here we go. Uh... to 15 that was quite long you might not be able to do it that long um, but let's do the next note now which is of course D let's see how long we can play it for big breath <laughs> tighter don't forget use your tongue at the beginning of the note with a okay nice big breath and here we go and the new note for page eight but we know how to play it anyway g so lips tight nice big breath make sure you're supporting the note from your your diaphragm you're pushing the notes pushing the air out quite fast here we go g okay well done so there's your five notes so let's play them let's go c c c breathe d d d breathe e e e breathe f f f breathe g g g Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Now let's start at the top and we'll come down. Remember we start tight and as you come down you can relax a little bit. Here we go. Starting from G, big breath. One, two, three, four. those notes a bit before we start to read on the page. Um, I hope that last week you had a practice of making up your own tunes. At the top of each of these pages they've strung all the notes together in a long line. You can play the notes in that order, make up your own rhythms, make the notes long or short. So let's do a little bit of copying me because that's what I'm going to do. I'll make up a short phrase and you copy it back. Okay, and you can see, of course, as you know, you can watch my fingers, you'll know which notes I will be starting on. Um, but use your ears as well, listen to the pitch, listen to the change in the pitch going up and down. Okay, 
Here we go. Me first, and then you copy. One, two, three, four. Your turn. Nice, easy one. Your turn. all of the notes, see if you can copy. One, two, three, four, five, and there's all of your five notes. Well done. Now, looking at page eight, get your book out, get your book ready. If you don't have the book, the, um, the page is in the resources folder on this web page. Uh, let's look at the first tune. These are all long notes. This is just to practice these notes. The first one is G. Okay, so you've got G, G, let's go through them together. The next one, first finger down is F. Put your fingers down as well, please. The next one, they tell you what it is. It's a D. And one after that goes up onto the bottom line of the stave, which is E, then F, and then G for four beats. Next is D, F, D, E. D, G, and E for four beats. And now I recommend doing all of your tunes like this before you start to play them. Go through, put the fingers down, and say the name of the note. Think about what the name of the note and the sound, the pitch, where your lips are going to be, high or low. Um, so let's play this one together. I'm going to play it. Try and play along. If it's too fast, press pause, practice it. But if you do this one every day, you're going to get really, really good at it. Okay, starting on G. G sounds like that. G, nice and tight, big breath. One, two, three. <gasps> that one practice it at your own speed practice it along with me you can listen to me playing it and just put the fingers down but try and get what they look like and what they sound like and what they feel like and then you'll get better at all of these notes the second tune you can practice on your own again it, it's not that particularly hard um, if you particularly if you go slowly so you can just practice that slowly no rush go through and practice all the notes and the sound now let's look at marching what sort of style would you play this one in? Imagine you were marching along. It's not like flowing that we did last week. It's going to be different to that, isn't it? So let's try and get the feel of marching along. Can you tell me what the notes are in the first two bars? It starts on G, D, G, D, E, D, G. Now that sounds like this. I'm just going to play the first two bars, starting on G. I'm going down to D. Okay, and I've tried to play it in a marching style, even though it's quite slow at the moment. One thing that you may find happens when you play the trumpet and you're practicing G and D. Um, this is D. And this is G. Be careful that you don't play G, then put your fingers down and get another G by mistake. You have to make sure that you relax to go down in pitch to the D. Um, otherwise, you can get G with those fingers down. This is D and then G with the fingers down. Can you hear the difference? Um, and this is D and then G open. The G sounds much better like that. So this is the first two bars again of marching. Listen to the change in pitch between G and D. Now I'm going to play.
play it wrong. Listen to what the difference is. Watch my fingers and listen. Sorry, I didn't take my fingers off for the G at the end, but can you see what was happening there? That all the notes sounded the same, apart from E. Because if you don't move your lips when you move your fingers, your Ds will come out too high and sound like G. So be careful throughout the whole of marching that you make sure you change the pitch and you must practice that first before you try the whole piece, okay? Right, I'm going to play marching all the way through and then I'll break it down um, and do two bars and then you play two bars. So if you think you know it already, you can play along. If not, practice your fingers and just listen while I play it and imagine marching along. Here I go, one, two, three, four. speed or a marching tempo. Now uh, you're going to play it with me but we're going to do it really slowly. <clears throat> so I will play two bars and then you play the two bars back to me okay I'll leave you a, a space but I'll keep the beat going. <clears throat> okay are we ready? Don't forget to make sure you're standing or sitting up straight make sure your music's up in front of you. Don't forget to breathe through your mouth. <clears throat> Don't forget to tongue all the notes there's a lot to think about isn't there? Okay, here we go, marching, first two bars, then it's your turn. Then I'll play the next two bars, and it's your turn, all the way through to the end. One, two, three, four. Your turn. G, D, G, D, E, D, G. My turn, next bit. Okay, well done if you managed to play that. If it was too fast, just pause the video, practice it, try again in a couple of days to see if you can get it up to tempo, up to speed, <clears throat> and then see if you can play the whole thing all the way through at your speed. And that's the way to practice all of the songs. So you've got also gliding on this page, which I'll play for you before we finish. Watch your step, uses all of those notes. Don't forget also, you've got the tunes on page nine, which you can go back to flowing and walking and sort them out. So all of these tunes use the same techniques and if you practice page eight and page nine you'll know five notes really really well and in my video next week we're going to be on page 11 where we use all five notes. So you need to be good at these five. Okay, right I'm going to play gliding for you. Now this is not like marching isn't it? Is it gliding, gliding along nice and smooth so I'm going to play it twice, I'm going to play it really slowly for you, so you can try and play along. And then I'll do a little bit of a faster one um, that you can uh, also try and play along with. Um, here's a word for today. Do you remember what this word means? Well, it's written on there. Dynamics, remember the poster in the music room, means loud or quiet. Getting louder, getting quieter, so changing our volume. So marching... I think could be quite loud, couldn't it? We're marching along. If it's gliding, maybe we'll try and play a little bit softer. So here is a slow, soft version of gliding. Here we go. And starting on our G, remember, look at that note. Practice it first by just going through and saying the names of the notes and putting the fingers down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <gasps>
was kind of gliding, wasn't it? Nice and soft. You see the way I'm breathing? Nice big breath through my mouth, not through my nose, at the end of each two bars or eight beats. Right, now I'm going to go a little bit faster, a little bit louder, a change in dynamics. Here I go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> on page eight for you from your team brass um, the next video as I said I'll be moving on to turn the page to page 11 and maybe page 10 so really please practice these five notes practice your reading but also practice making stuff up you don't need music you don't need to read the music to make music so make up your own stuff and I'll see you next week bye bye <laughs>